raise the sun, and let's do this. So these guys got a massive ass great sword, so let's have a little bit of a fight going on. Hey everyone, and welcome back to the night. Midnight here, back for another episode of Dark Souls 2 Scholar the First Sin, episode number 53. And a couple of things guys, you may have noticed, I'm rocking on a million souls at the moment because I've basically been farming for a few days, uh, just been helping some Sunbros out and quite a lot to talk about actually guys. What I've done is I've actually changed my build quite significantly. If you look, I've gone up to 166 and I've gone for a full spread all build, 24 on all of them except 27 for dexterity. Um, and I probably will have a few more souls to spend up, see how much we've got on. I'm actually one more higher in faith, and I didn't even realise why am I one higher in faith. Probably because I'm wearing something that gives me one higher in faith. But that's fine by me. So basically, what I'm rock rocking, guys, is mundane. Mundane, basically, what it does is it gives you, it scales off the, your uh, lowest stat. So if you have them all at the same, uh, like, same level, it scales off all of them, which is pretty significant. So basically I've got my mundane manslayer and I've actually got a friend to swap me another mundane manslayer for my second hand. So I've got two, two mundane manslayers rocking at the same time which is awesome news. Um, probably could be doing something else really because I only get I only get plus 30. only gets uh, like 60 points of poison onto each one which is a bit of a shame. Um, but it, I, quite like the, I quite like the daggers themselves and they are pretty damaging. You know as well as like uh, I thought about maybe going into like the black steel katanas or something but you'd need a significant increase. So it's 25 in dexterity just to wield both of them. To power stance them, I've been need to be rocking on, you know, at least 38, 30, 37 dexterity or something, which is a lot higher than I thought I would be at. So screw that at the time being. I could even, you never know. We could always have a change. So I basically just did this. So if you ever want to do this, you can always swap out to have two man slayers. You get a friend to swap with them. They're easy to get. Just need to get past the second, that third bonfire in uh, the the shrine of Armada place. So we're done with that. So we've got 200. So we got 76 plus 182 because we're scaling off all of them. So then what I did is I actually swapped because I said I wanted to have a great bow. So I farmed for a great bow, uh, and uh, there we go. We have got the mundane Aloni great bow, which is a beast and a half. I love the great bows because there's such damage on them. And if you notice, I haven't actually upgraded these guys because I wanted to wait until you guys saw it so I could upgrade them all at the same time. So we got 65 plus 82. And just showing you back on player stats, if you look at my attunement, I actually have 24 in attunement now. So I actually have some slots available, which is awesome news. So what I did is I actually had the Black Witch's Staff. I know this is a lot to take in, guys, but I wanted to show you basically what I did. I did a lot of stuff off air just to uh, go through a lot of farming, a lot of things. So another thing I wanted to show you actually, guys, is I've got a fair few effigies now. I actually farmed, farmed for a few uh, few like co-ops and stuff. Got some effigies off some Stark Spirits. So we are good to go on that one. And there we go. So we've got my Black Witch's Staff. So basically the Black Witch's Staff kind of has a spread all build on... Well, well I just accidentally took it off. Take the, I think it off. Where is my Black Witch's Staff back at? Um, there you're actually... Staff with them is another badass thing. But you need 50 intelligence for it. You actually use Sorceries, Miracles and Hexes. So I can actually have like a... Basically like a universal build. And then another thing I did... Wow, a lot to go through. So I did this. Power Sense these babies. And I love the Manslayers because they look a little bit worn. Kind of got us going with the armor theme that going on. But speaking of armor, I actually farmed for the shadow set. So if I wanted to, do, I could run the full shadow set. If you want, let me just show you the full shadow set. Because uh, it looks pretty damn cool. And I quite like the uh, like the aesthetics of it and stuff. And the gauntlets actually increase your bleeding damage, which I never actually knew about. Where are the shadow gauntlets? Basically, this took, took me a long time to farm. You just need to use your rusted coins and all your, all your good uh, loot finding gear. And where is these shadow gauntlets for that matter? If I can actually spot them, do I did I actually have shadow shadow leggings? That I I can't remember. Uh, let me just show you if I can find them. Where the hell are you? I've got loads of crap stuff. There you go, shadow leggings. So that's like the full set. It's looking pretty badass. I quite like the set like that is. But um, for me, I quite like the hat that we've got rocking as well, guys. So I'm going to swap back to the hat because it just looks like I've been rocking through that hat for the most of the game really with that hat. So it looks quite cool with it. And the leggings, not really a thing. I like the rogue leggings with it because that looks pretty decent. And the Shadow Gauntlets, I swapped to the Tesla Dora stuff. Doesn't give you much armor defense, but it does increase your souls acquired, which is quite a nice little touch. And I love that the little little gold emblem you got on your wrist there. So that's looking pretty cool. That's my new fashion soulsy ready to go. And I got my great bow as well, which is a beast and a half. So what we need to do is we actually need to do some leveling up. We need to do some spending of souls. And I need to actually put my rings back on. Another thing I wanted to show you guys is I'm rocking the third dragon still. I am keeping on the Chloranthi ring plus one because I love that ring. Um, and then I was 
and put on the ring of blades plus one because he put the ring of blades plus one on and he increases my 217 significant difference both twice again uh, 217 and that 217 as well is a big chunk so that's going up by like another 30 points and the other thing I wanted to do is if I put the poison bite ring on it doesn't give me that much poison unfortunately but these increase to a 33 plus 80 so I'm getting 110 or around about 103, 113 something like that for two man slayers and power sets are two of them are hitting 226 kind of like poison so I'm not doing too bad on that front and I look like the little fashion cells we've got going on I did contemplate maybe swapping out to like the uh, like the uh, Veng the Drang Lake, what was it, Drang Lake shoes? I think it was Lake L Luane shoes. They look pretty cool as well. Kind of like works with the armor, but I like the uh, rogue leggings. I got them to a plus three as well. And keeping the hat on is quite a good little choice. So the other thing I wanted to do is have a bit of a choice between arrows, great arrows, and like destructive great arrows. Destructive arrows are pretty damn cool, um, but like fire damage ones are pretty damage damaging as well. So let's do a few things then, guys. So first things first, let's go and buy some arrows. Now, there's a couple of places you can buy these from. The place I've been thinking about getting them from is either McDuff's place or there's a guy, actually I freed him with the leather. I didn't realise he was actually still here as well. I'm pretty sure this is the Navlan guy because he looks like he's got the same armour on. So me freeing this guy, uh, which I thought was the right thing to do, even though it was bloody stupid of him to do really because uh, he's, there was loads of signs saying pull back, don't pull this lever, you know what I mean? And then I pulled it, freed him. He says he's going to go chasing after his new mark. I've got no idea who this new mark was. Until I keep getting invaded by the same guy. And I'm pretty sure that's him. Because he's got the same armor around. He, he looks a bit uh, he looks a bit similar. And he, I kind of can guess he's like using hexes and stuff. So I think that's the same guy. But nothing I can do about it. Um, because he's free now. Unless I killed the guy. But I don't want to really kill him. I quite like getting to kill him. This guy because it's quite a little fun invasion now and again. And he's not too bad. So this is the guy I was talking to you about. So how are we doing my friends? Hot. You've really done it. You'll never escape him. See, so you're, I'll never escape him. So apparently he's the one who keeps invading me. So I could buy a full set of him off. Black Witch's light set and stuff. And the Astrologist set. And the ring for lightning quartz defense. Ring plus strong. Not really useful. Then he sells a, a limited amount of arrows. Lightning arrows, great arrows. Fire arrow, great arrows, sorry. And destructive great arrows. And sells all these bonfire assistants, which are useful. And then great magic weapon and strong magic shield. So what we want to do is I want, I want to buy some fire great arrows. I could buy 985 for 177,000 souls. No thank you. I'm going probably going to buy, I reckon, about 200. 200 of them and then 200 of the destructive great arrows. Just a bit more damage. Uh, probably we would prefer the fire great arrows really to the destructive ones because it's like a little bit more of a damage to him. But for some reason like some, some enemies are like resistant to like fire. So we'll be taking those ones up, taking the fire arrows up, 236,000 souls for that. So I've just finally lost my million souls. And how many are rocking on destructive grey arrows? These ones apparently like deal break damage. Uh, not really that like, useful in PV, PvE kind of thing, but they are more damaging than my iron ones. So I'd rather take them because they just do an extra 50 points of damage. And uh, they are fine with me. Uh, I do contemplate using the, like they strip the, here we go, great arrow, great arrow, bang, Let's contemplate. Burst like that. But what I was saying is, I do uh, spend another 36,000 souls. I do contemplate using the old Leo ring again because of these. Uh, I get a thrust attack if I do this, and I also get my thrust. I think the arrows count as thrust attacks, so the old Leo ring works with that. So I might even have a see how we get on. If I can't really poison anything, there's, I'm better off using the old Leo ring for more damage. So let's just hit an age feather. Another thing I need to do we are currently sitting on 12 S's at the moment. But with only a plus four increase to the uh, sublime bone dust, so we need to actually find one more. And I think I know where the last one is. Did a bit of research online, really, guys, just to find out. Thought we just needed a bit of a helping hand, really. So just to show you where the last one is, it's at Shaded Ruins. I haven't put this one up actually yet, so I was waiting for you guys to see it. And I got to watch I don't die as well. Ninety-two thousand souls. I'm sorry, nine hundred and twenty thousand souls still to spend. So I've got to pay attention. Um, yeah, and as I say, I'm, I'm quite happy like farming this area. I was basically doing a lot of co-op and stuff. I was quite enjoying uh, this area. So well, this, this has increased my soul memory quite significantly. So what am I sitting on now? I'm sitting on 4.5 mil soul memory, but only 100 and level 66. And I've lost a lot of souls dying. So I think my soul memory is pretty, pretty decent. Uh, so here we go. I'm going to run for this thing. Uh, there we go. So this is like a little another area which I've never found before. Uh, this guy, I'm going to take out. There's actually a butterfly there. I've just picked up on the lock on screen by accident. And check out that damage, man. I nearly one shot that guy. And I think I'm going to as well when I upgrade these babies. So, what I actually locked onto is that butterfly. So, I'm going to take you down with a great bow. Bam! If I could actually hit the bloody thing. 
I love the great bow, even though it's a little bit slower, you do get some significant damage increase. Uh, here we go, a radiant launch I'm not really that useful, but whatever. Thank you for that butterfly there, my friend. So here we go, let's roll this way. And I'm pretty sure there's one more area to go. And have I actually been this way? Have I or actually already got the sublime bone dust here? That's probably what it is. I'm, I'm probably researching the wrong area, that's probably what it is, and I'm a bloody idiot. I think that's probably what it is. Yep, it's probably what it is. Okay, so whatever. I need to actually look online again, guys, to find out where that last sublime bone dust is, which is a bit of a damn shame because I've got no idea. But never mind. We will find that at some point. And here we go. Roll back through here. Oh, no. Is this where it is? I found a chest. Is this where it actually could have been? It could be awesome if there's a damn chest. Sublime bone dust, please be in here. A black knight halberd. Nope. Fair enough. I'll take black knight halberd. Oh, God. Oh, God, no. And I just lost 920,000 souls and I don't need to die again. <laughs> wow, I can't believe I just fell off and just owned my ass. That was a flipping stupid move. Now here we go. Here's the bloody risky point then, guys, because I've got to get down there without falling off and losing 920,000 souls. Oh freaking hell, man. I am panicking already. This is going to be bloody scary. Bloody scary in damn deed. Okay, so I'm not going to risk it. I'm going to take this guy out of the grave, though. Because I'm not risking any of this shit. I'm gonna go here, take this guy out. I'm going for this guy. And I've gotta get back into that room to pick up my souls. And I'm gonna take your ass out, please. Why did I miss? Damn it, Grey Bogood. This is the problem about having the Grey Bogood. It's a bit slower. And here we go. I am fucking panicking now. Okay, I'm fucking panicking. Roll! Oh god, okay. One down, one down, one down. Okay, one more to go. Let's get my souls. Please get my souls, please get my souls, please get my souls. Whew, we got him. Thank god for that. <laughs> I was literally, my heart was at the end of my mouth and I was fucking scared then I was going to lose all my souls. But we got a Black Knight Halberd. Let's check out this baby then. What was the Black Knight Halberd looking like? Uh, great Axe. And where was the Halberd? Where was the Halberd? It was... Oh, I've got no idea. Black Knight Halberd, there it is. Wow, that's looking pretty beasty for Halberd, that is. That's an awesome little blade there. Uh, but I think you need a significant increase in strength and stuff. Uh, yes, you do. Well, I, I, to be fair, I've got enough actually to wield that thing. But not for me at the moment. I'm going to walk back to the Manslayers. Um, so let's age feather that thing. Man, I'm still shaking after that jump. I thought I was going to balls it. But oh well, we have to find another... Let's find that sublime bone dust at some point. I've got no idea where it actually could be. But never mind, eh? We'll have to find it at some point. Um, and originally we were going through like the DLC areas. But I just thought... I, I just, I'll, I'll be missing this game really. So I just went back on it and played some... Uh, played some co-op. Played some, helped some bosses. Helped some people kill some, kill some bosses. And did some like farming of some like this like set that we can get going on for like effigies and stuff. So we are ready to roll out. Next thing I need to do is we need to actually uh, level up our manslayers and stuff, right? That's the awesome thing we need to do. So let's go over to Muk uh, should, we, should we go to McDuff's? No, let's go to Majula and then uh, reinforce it that way. So I did, yeah, I did have a little bit of a uh, of like a trial run, guys, trying out like a poison build. Basically, just try and find out what I wanted. Um, I I kept the stats what, what they were at, and I increased the poison damage by putting like poison stones on it. And it was it was quite I was poisoning people, um, poisoning like enemies and stuff. But the thing is, like I, I like to do what I did now and just be able to just take them out easily instead of having to wait for them to die. So here we go. Huh. I haven't done this because I wanted to wait for you guys. So let's reinforce. So what we were reinforcing, we were reinforcing our Monday months. Like we need Twinkling Titanite for that. But we are increasing our poison and our damage. See, so let's reinforce these babies. Here we go. Twinkling time out. Let's let's do this both at the same time. So we've got Monday and Wednesday plus one on both sides. Uh, plus two on both sides. Twinkling time is going to cost me a lot. Plus three. And then plus three. And then we need to give a 35 to 32. So give that one. And then give that one to a plus four. And then five more to go. So it costs another ten. So we'll upgrade that to a plus five. And then upgrade that one to a plus five. And then the Great Bow was the other thing we need to upgrade. So I'm not really bothered about the Black Witch's Staff because I don't really need it, even though you actually do need normal Titanite. And the Mundane, a lonely Great Bow was the other thing I needed to get. This is why I need the 27 Dex, by the way, to increase my Katanas. So here we go, Mundane, Great Bow to a plus 71. And then Titanite Shards again, I've got plenty of Titanite Shards. The other thing I might need to get is Chunks, actually. So I need to pay attention for Chunks, I'm just going to max this baby. Here we go, maxing this baby. Titanite chunks, I actually got just enough chunks for a Monday Great Bow number 9, and then a Titanite slab to a plus 10. Get in. So we've just maxed those two. People Thank you very much days. for that, my friends. So let's have a check at this baby. We've got two Monday and Blast players plus 5. So 115 plus 217, which is pretty significant. They're plus 5 on both sides of them. Um, so that's 
almost hitting, you know, like 300 damage per one, which is damn awesome news. So I might actually keep press the rattle just for the time being. I didn't give me that much of a significant increase, really, but oh well, I'm happy with that. And the Great Bow going up to like another 300 damage, really, which is awesome news. So I'm happy with that. So then what we need to do, and guys, this is like a lot of it of a build episode, really. Just kind of like swapping up my Bearer stuff. Of the and until yep, I already know that, my friends. So what I wanted to do, because I've already got my player stats up to 24 on my team, I've got four slots. So what should we do with these four slots? Let's go to Iron Keep and maybe incense a few things down. Maybe like maybe Crystal Magic Weapon, maybe Crystal Soul Mass, something. Just to kind of give us a bit of a helping hand, really. And gives us like a, another, another option, really. Because I love this kind of like uh, build that I've got going on. To have a bit more variety and a bit of uh, being able to do like multitask and stuff. Because normally in these kind of games I'll just go a specific role and sorry, specific role and, and just proper force it down like I did with the previous build, like going adaptability and dexterity. But this one I got like a bit more variation of stuff I can do. I can't believe I bloody died there as well. What a flipping idiot, eh? So let me just have a check then basically. So go over to this my friend, how we do it, and then check on my player stats and then the scroll thingy. So what I was rolling at the moment was Great Magic Weapon, which is 18 intelligence, but for Crystal Magic Weapon you need 28. Well, I'm on 24 at the moment, so we're not too far off. And the other thing I wanted to do maybe was like Great Heal or something, or Repair was the other thing I needed. Repair you need 15, which I can easily do. And then because my thing can cast actually like orbs and stuff, I might go for like a, maybe like a Dark Fog or maybe a, a Dark Storm. Maybe that'd be quite cool, like a Dark Storm. Hard to say really, guys. Um, or maybe I could go home in Crystal Soul Mass. Hmm. What should we do, eh? What should we do? What if I... Let's... Uh, I don't know. How much have we rockets level up? We are leveling up on 37,000 souls. So it's quite a significant increase. So what I might do... I might Funny. incense this thing down. Here we go. Incense Crystal... Homing crystal, crystal... Crystal Weapon down. Crystal Magic Weapon with the Simpleton Spice. We picked up loads of these. So we've got 12. So we only need to drop it down by another... Four, I think so let's drop this down to a 27 drop it down again to a 26 drop it down again to a 25 and crystal magic weapon drop it once again to a plus so now it's on 24 so I've got that perfectly fine now so I'm happy with that and homing crystal soul mass was the other thing I wanted to probably drop down because that would be damn useful unless there's something else I wanted repair was the other thing I wanted but that's what I already got that uh, great heal was the other thing that I probably needed great heal I need 28 in faith Okay then, so let's drop some Skeptic Spice down. Actually, is it worth that? I'm thinking about hopping on Sacred Oath, but it's hard to say. Um, Crystal Magic Weapon 24. Okay, tell you what, let's Cheers. let's go and do a few things then, guys. What I might do is uh, go and change my build to there's a there's a uh, there's a spell you can buy through from Strayed, which basically increases your buff damage but you need four slots to use it which I've got four slots at the moment but then I need another fifth slot to wield crystal magic weapon and then repair but that potentially for that matter as well. Let's go and buy uh, Sacred Oath as well this is going to be a proper cool ass build I reckon hopefully anyway. So where was Strayed at? He was at Iron Keep and then Strayed Cell right? So I just thought I'd show you all the process of me changing this build up um, and I wanted to you know show you through it just in case you guys wanted to do it as well so see my build and stuff and me just trying it off air was just a bit of a trial run really it did contemplate actually using another soul vessel to change me back but I thought I'd rather show you guys after this respect so let's just kill these guys see how much damage I'm doing I'm rocking this thing out now and did think about maybe changing the man slayers for another weapon just for like a, maybe even like the sun sword or something would be quite cool like a long sword what you get from the uh, sun bros but I love the man's. I love that 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 swing, and you get the sideways swings like that way. You get the jab that way, and then you just get the normal slash. So hopefully we can try this out. So straight, hello my friend. Very How are we doing on the old trading? But we actually actually haven't traded many souls from him at the moment. So I could trade a few weapons from him, but there's nothing else I really wanted. The only thing I thought about looking at was uh, let me go. I'm sorry, not not only this. Sacred oath is pretty cool. Toxic mist. I need actual a. Paramount Flame for that Sacred Oath is a buff. What well, you need the Soul of Elf stat, I get three uh, three uh, casts with it, but it costs me four slots, which is pretty significant. But Soul of Elf stat, what do I need to swap with the Soul of Elf stat? I'm pretty sure nothing uh, is tradable by him. Nope, so let's go here. Let's buy Sacred Oath. Here we go, Soul of Elf stat. Bam, bought that for 3,000 souls. Feeble. So you, really you are, you are welcome. I've just, I've just got that, my friend. I've just got that. Okay, so let's go back over here. 
And we've got a fair few souls to level up as well, to be fair. So let's level up. Level up to about 100k or something, and then we can actually see what we are, how we're doing on the uh, incense in front. So I'm dead happy with this so far. Okay, so we're back in Medulla, and let's go and level up to the old Emerald Herald here. Now, the thing is with having like a mundane spread, spread all build, until... is you have to kind of level them all up in significant in, in together, otherwise one's going to be behind the other one. So I don't know what's increasing my faith at the moment. Have I still got my faith increased? Uh, no, I still I don't. I must have had something on what gave me a faith increase something. I wonder what, what it was. I've got no idea, but oh well. So let's talk to this uh, woman again. Until... And level up. And see what we can level up, basically. So I've got to do this one at a time, basically. So faith, faith. Shame we incense that one down, because I didn't really need it. Uh, 25, 25, 25, 25. And I'm going to... Could do a 26, 26, 26 all the time, which is awesome news. And I wonder if I can get 27 as well. I, hopefully I can. Please give me a 27. No, I can't. I'm close, though. I'm damn clam close. Now, I'm contemplating uh, trashing my souls up to actually, like, increase me in level, which is, I don't know how much I need. I need a significant increase, though. So they're all 27, which is a bit of a shame. Okay, I'm going to ditch those down, go to a 26, confirm that. So only one point off now, guys. One point off leveling up to a 27. But the thing is, I just spent 670,000 souls on that. Wow. So how are we rocking on the old uh, slot front? I've got five slots now, which is awesome news. So I could have Repair and Sacred, Sacred Oath. So I just need one more slot, and I've got the uh, and I've got the Great Magic Weapon. I've got uh, yeah, Crystal Magic Weapon as well, which is damn awesome. So I wonder how far we could go. I wonder if there's any souls we could maybe crush. Uh, we've got plenty of these like big souls and stuff, um, and soul of great heroes. Say what? Let's let's just let's just use these things. See what happens. Soul of great heroes. I've been saving these up for a while now. Let's use maybe let's use like three of them. There's three thousand souls. I've been saving these up for a while just to like help me out. I'm going to use uh, all the souls of brave warriors. Why the hell not? And this probably won't level me up at all, really. But oh well. Um, and I'm going to use I'm going to use all these souls as well. Actually, now I'm going to use. Uh, uh, screw it. I'm going to use half of them. Half, uh, five of them. Screw it. Soul of a Brave Warrior. Bam. 225,000 souls. And then Soul of a Proud Knight. Let's use half of these as well. Just for a little bit of like soul capping and stuff, which is happy with. Soul of a Proud Knight. Let's use another six of them. 12,000 souls there. Okay. That's fine by me. Let's see how we're rocking on then. Hopefully this can give me a few more levels. Uh, so what I need... What I need, my friend, is I need to get 27 in each of these. So 27, 27, 27, uh, 27. How am I doing? Two more to go. I'm one sure. I need I need double the points, and then I've got a full spread all build. Okay. Cancel level up, which I'm dead happy with, by the way. This is awesome news. I can actually be able to do this now. Saving these souls up for so damn long. Okay, then. So let's use let's use all three of these. Soul of Brave Warrior. Bam. For another 15,000 souls. And then so let's use three of them. For another 6,000 souls. And then let's use maybe even like 7 of these. For 7,000 souls. Wow, I've got plenty of souls rocking. So if this should be enough now. Please tell me this is enough. Here we go. Level up one more last time. Here we go. Uh, 27, 27, 27. Oh god, no, not 20, 28. Uh, one more there, one more there. And yes, 839. Perfect news there. So I've got that all full 27 build now. Still got five slots. I've got a significant increase in damage now. Wow. Uh, all my defenses go up. My poise goes up. My agility goes up. Happy with that. So finally I've hit the cap on where they're all the same now. And I've actually spent all my souls. That's a million souls gone in that episode. And now we've got 226 per increase, which is awesome. Uh, and we got the five slots as well. So now what I might do is we've got that. And we need to incense a few things down, right? So let's go and travel back to the guy in Iron Keep. Intense Sacred Oath down to get the four slot, and then we've got one more slot for, for Crystal Magic Weapon. But now I'm contemplating actually putting a ring on, which increases my slot attunement, so I can have maybe like a uh, like um, Crystal Magic Weapon or something. Sorry, yeah, Crystal Magic Weapon as well as Repair, which would be awesome news. So let's go over here and pretty much sure I'm just going to be showing you this thing in this episode, guys. Maybe even go for like a southern ritual bound plus two or something because I think I know where one is so I'm going to I'm going to knock this thing down but the problem is about having like a spread all builders now I need to wait until I've got enough souls to level up again I mean I'm quite happy with what, what level am I at the moment I mean I'm at 190 which is pretty decent actually so let's actually well. incense these things down 
So what do I need? To, actually, no, do I need to insert? I don't need to insert anything down. Great, Chris, Chris, Chris Loaf is 25, which is fine by me. Invaded by Dark well. Spirit, final Big salamander. Pressure. Okay, we are being invaded. We are being damn invaded, my friends. I am damn scared. Okay, then, my friends. I've got no more souls to spend. Man, I can't believe you invaded me. Here we go, then. Here we go, then, my friend. Let's just go over here and go on the bridge. The old Iron Bridge of... Uh, the Iron Bridge of PvP, because that's what we always like to do. I'm going to go on this bridge. And I haven't got any slots of tunes, which is a bit annoying. I'm going to ditch the ditch that and put the... Actually, I'm going to stick, stick that as what it is. So either this guy's chameleon or he's actually... Um, or he's actually like waiting for me to come near him. But I don't really want to go near the enemies, really. So I'm going to have to sit tight, wait for him to turn up. No idea why he's actually just like invading me here. Though. My friend, this is supposed to be like a PvP area. And why is he not coming towards me? I've got no idea. I'm a little bit scared, though. Come on, my friend, let's do this little bit of a duel session on the bridge. That's how we roll. Wow, are you going to not? Are you just going to stay over here and not actually like fight me in the open area? Going to get near the enemies and get a little bit dirty? That's not very nice, my friend. Good news is about this area, though, guys. I have pretty much wiped out a lot of the areas. So I'm going to go up here, try and keep an eye for this guy. Uh, might he's probably going to go for a backstab on me at some point. Where the hell is this guy gone? Hello, dude. Okay, what the hell? I got no idea. I'm going to probably take this guy out there because I'm a little bit scared of him uh, taking me out. So here we go. Actually, no, I can't really swap to the Iron Great Arrows. So let's just swap to the Wasp Wand and then the Destructive Great Arrows. Man, I'm a little bit scared now. Where the hell is this guy? And why hasn't he invaded me yet? So here we go. I'm going to take this guy out. I've already killed the enemies, by the way, my friend. So there's no need in actually, like, uh, waiting for me to go near you because there's no point. And I heard a door open. I heard a door open. Where are you, my friend? There he, there he is. Okay, he's up here. That's fine by you. So I know where this guy is now. He's over there. I'm going to take this guy out. Uh, let's give him a quick bow. Uh, let's go over here, my friend. Let's go back over to the open area where we can actually have a fight. Where we can actually have a fight over here where it's actually like an actual area to go. Are you following me, my friend? Are you following me? Yep, let's go. Let's go, my friend. Basically, you're going to have to accept the invasion and let's take this guy out. I'm not bothered about the Great Bow guy killing me. Let's go, then, my friend. Let's go. Praise the sun. And let's do this. So, this guy's got a massive ass great sword. So, let's have a little bit of a fight going on. So, let's see how we've got on to our build. Wow, he's got some weird ass swords. Oh, God. Oh, God. That stagger move, man. Uh, go for damage. Ow. I got some damage on them. We got some damage on them again. That's some significant increase in damage. Whoa. And I know what that's going to do. That's going to go that. So I've got to just... I've got, got to get some damage on them. Wow, I did some significant increase in damage and I kicked his ass. That was a badass fight there, my friend. Final Salamander has been vanquished. And he did some significant increase, but I hit him for 746 damage. Wow, that's pretty damn awesome. So that's the good thing about these katanas is you get a significant increase in, in counteract damage, which I was dead, dead happy with, guys. So that was an awesome little fight there. So anyway, let's get, continue back to our little uh, like build we were rocking on. Just a little bit of a PvP build then, which is awesome news. So let's have a level up and incense this thing down. So Crystal Soul Mask. Do I want Crystal Soul Mask? So I've got Sacred Oath, which is four slots, and I've got C Crystal Magic Weapon. So, uh, is there anything I could maybe knock down? Great Resonant Soul, I'm not bothered about. Dark Storm's pretty damn useful. Should I maybe even go for... I'm contemplating going for Great great Heal, but I don't know. Is Great Heal worth it? Um, I've got 12 S's, I'm not that bad. Okay, screw it. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna skip this one down by one. Here we go. Great Cheers. heal achieved. Awesome news. So I'm dead happy with that. So we've got those things rocking now then guys. So what I might do is I think Southern Ritual Band plus two is a slot ring slot, which basically gives you another three slots, which is a significant increase really. Three slots is huge. And I'm dead happy to try this new build out that I've got going on. Two mundane manslayers. So here we go. I think the uh, guy was over here. The Southern Ritual Bound plus two is at the... Uh, what should we call it now? Where am I going? This way and this thing. That's a two-nar spells. Bonfire Aesthetic this place up to respawn all the enemies. Then go after the boss. And hopefully we'll be able to 
we'll be able to get some of the Bomb plus two guys, which will give us a ring slot. Um, because for some reason, I don't know if I need it, that's actually a two-knot spells, because Sacred Oath is going to cost me four. And we get one more slot, which is going to give me Crystal Magic Weapon at the moment. Which is okay, so I'm going to give some proper damage. Um, so let's, here we go, let's Bonfire Static this thing up. So the first thing I'm going to be Bonfire Static is that Medulla. So Bonfire Static this. Risking this, guys, risking this indeed. This place has been Bonfire Static. What is done cannot be undone, you're damn right. So, this, so these are all respawned now, I've got my weapons ready, um, I'm going to pop an effigy to keep myself human, just to be a bit more safe about it, uh, I'm not running on that many cells, not running on a bloody million like I was last time, and i got one shot crystal magic weapon, but I do get three casts of sacred oath, so I've just got to keep an eye out, I'm going to ignore the ghost dude, the chests have all respawned, but I'll probably be picking them up later on, don't need to get them now, just need to go for the boss, let's go for the boss then, I'm probably going to just... See what I can get by without actually engaging up most of these dudes. So these, well, this is what happens when you bonfire aesthetic. Loads of things like respawn and stuff. So I'm just going to run past all this. Hopefully try and dodge this crap out of the way. And so hopefully no one's following me. Uh, nope. This guy, Bradley the Old Guard. I'm going to go one-on-one -on -one my, with you, my friend. I'm not going to fight anything else. And I could summon even summon in Tark if I wanted to, but I'm not bothered. So I'm dead happy with that. Uh, actually, let's, let's summon in Tark because he's badass. Let's summon Tark, why not, eh? Man Scumpy Talk has been summoned, and I'm going to ditch the poison because he's not really that useful. Actually, no, let's keep the poison. Let's keep the poison, and uh, let's go for Sacred Oath. Sacred Oath on this thing, which is awesome, so give me a bit of a damage buff, and Crystal Magic Weapon. So let's have a check with the damage buff that I've got going on. Uh, 276, wow, man. 117 plus 276 is a significant increase. Let's do this Scorpion Woman again. I've already fought you before, and I know what you're doing. So let me go here, damage that one, she goes like this, jumps up like this. And I am so happy with this build I've got going on now. And significant increase in damage, yep, that's, I'm happy with that. And no more tail swipe for you, that's a very long sweeping arc you've got going on there. So, do some damage with that one, wow. She's only been plus 10, she's only been new game plus 1 really. She's technically a new game plus now. But I wanted the increase. I wanted the whoa, whoa, whoa! Tail swipe, tail swipe, tail swipe. Yep, I could tell that was coming, and I couldn't really do anything about it. Ouch, man! That was significant damage. Scorp, Talkie, are you going to help me out? Okay, heal on that one. I'm going to heal again. Fuck it. Crystal magic weapon has still up, which is awesome news. And I did contemplate maybe even having like the blue flame or something, but I'm quite happy with this one. Though. Let's just try this. What it's like. So she's been staggered. I'm kicking her ass, kicking her damn ass. Okay, roll the way that. Damage! Crystal Magic Weapon is gone. I think I might still have Sacred Oath on me there. Okay, she's doing that. I'm going to get in there. Damage again. And damage again. She's bearing underneath. Okay, that's fine by you, my friend. I'm going to chug it. Dead happy with this build, guys. It's pretty damn awesome. Sacred Oath me up. Uh, using Soul of Elstaff for that, which is a bit of a shame. Wait for her to chillax and come top. Um, there she is. And up some damage on her. And I'm going to get risky. going to get real fucking greedy. Get real fucking greedy. She's down. Get in. Woman down, awesome news. Warcry, victory team, thank you man, Scorpion Taki. Southern Ritual Bound plus two, awesome news guys. So we got the Southern Ritual Bound plus two out of that, which is what I wanted to get. So let's age Feather out of this place. Actually, is there anything we can maybe spot? I can't think of anything we really need to go. Oh, screw it, there's not maybe that much ingredients there. We could always come back for that. But I'm dead happy with that then, guys. We've actually got Southern Ritual Bound plus two, which basically gives you, I think it's three slots. Three slots have, in have increased, which is like flipping awesome. So I can have some spells, I can have repair, I can have crystal magic weapon. It's all good news, it's all good news. So let me see if I can put this ring on. Uh, the Southern Ritual Band plus two, where are you at, my friend? Uh, the Southern Ritual Band plus two is there. It has the two additional spells, so if I two in that, I've got three extra slots to use, which is awesome news. So what do I want? We want... I could have actually a Home and Crystal Soul Mask. I could actually incense that down. Sorry, spice that one down. Um, to a 27. Do I need how many prices do I need? I need another another five for that, which is a little bit a little bit worrying. So let's go for great heal and let's go for maybe even dark storm. How about dark storm for a little bit like dark damage? Dark fog's not a bad shout. Dead again. Twisted barricade. Dark storm gives me free slots. So I got a significant crystal magic weapon. Great heal. Dark storm like that, uh, which is basically just an old clearance thing, which is basically just an AOE clearance. I got great heal now. Awesome news, giving me a bit of healing power. Uh, got Sacred Oath and Crystal Magic Weapon, and we've got two mundane manslayers. 
with this Black Witch stuff, which I haven't even graded as well yet, guys. We could even grade our armor at some point. Lacking the armor we're going on now, so I'm dead happy with that. So I thought I'd show you guys the build. So I think we'll have to end the episode, guys. So thank you very much for watching. And if you didn't enjoy, please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time.